Falling for Christmas, starring Lindsay Lohan, is coming soon. She's been promoting the film a lot, doing a lot of interviews, and she seems so happy and grounded. And I want to be happy and grounded, too. So I started looking at all her videos, past and present, and thinking, what can I learn from Lindsay Lohan? Hi, I'm Edward. I'm into spiritual growth, personal development, learning, growing, being a better person. If you're into that stuff too, please join me here. I'm trying to build a community of like-minded people. Are you one? Do you care? Or are you just watching the Kardashians all day long? If you do want to grow with me, please subscribe. From following the timeline of Lindsay Lohan's spiritual growth, it's clear that your spiritual growth does not happen in a straight line. You're not constantly going up, 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 up. Sometimes you go backwards. Sometimes you fall down completely off path. Sometimes you veer left a little bit and you have to find your way back to the path. There were times where it seemed like she had it all together and then next thing you know you would hear something had happened <laughs> where it was clear that you know she was falling backward but i think that's a great lesson for all of us don't beat yourself up just pick yourself up and get back on course it's also very interesting that she does not blame her family for her problems, her, her issues, she takes responsibility. No, nobody's perfect. You know, um, I love my parents. It's always tempting to throw the blame. My parents were terrible. And yeah, I've done that myself. But if you look at it as though from a spiritual perspective, you chose this situation. Your soul chose this situation to be in. You chose these parents. You chose these scenarios for your own growth. So if you look at it that way, you can't really blame them. They're actually helping you. The way they're being is helping you to grow. We can also learn a lesson of, of empathy from Lindsay Lohan. Here's what happened when she was stopped at the airport for wearing a headscarf and questioned. What scared me was, is that moment, how would another woman who doesn't feel comfortable taking off her headscarf feel? That was really interesting to me. She realized that she had a privilege being famous white American. And she thought about the other people who would be in a similar situation who did not have that privilege and how they would feel. One thing I thought was really cool was when she announced her engagement and you know, people will often say, oh, I'm a very lucky woman for having this guy to marry. But, and she did say that, but she also said he's a very lucky man. She values herself as well as others. I'm a very lucky girl and he's a very lucky man. <laughs> Knowing that she has a lot to offer him as well as what she's getting from him. We can learn to appreciate the things that we've become accustomed to, that we take for granted. She spoke about being away from acting for 10 years and coming back and realizing how much she really appreciated it. Such a different appreciation just from not filming in so long. I just was really excited to be there and just really grateful and happy to be around everyone. She's able to laugh at herself. The verdict is, 
gorgeous. As you ascend and discover that your spiritual growth is so interesting and the mysteries of life and why you're here are so interesting. The low level drama, who did this and who did that and silliness like that, Real Housewives, doesn't interest you anymore. It's just boring. It's so low level, it's just boring. It's not interesting to me anymore. And she seems to take everything as an opportunity for growth. We can learn a lot from this. And we can also learn to not pay attention to the negative stuff and to look at things differently. You know, when you see a celebrity going through some stuff in the public eye and you tend to judge them, which I do, no, no doubt about it. Maybe think about what we can learn from them and being able to witness their journey from, you know, from a distance and apply what we can to our own lives. That's it. I hear a bird again. It seems to be a trend every time it's time to wrap up. The birds are outside saying goodbye. Okay, that's it. <laughs> See you next time.